Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Today we present you 15 WWE photos we can never unsee. Number 15. The Rock and Roman's Rumble Reaction When Batista won the 2014 Royal Rumble, fans were rightly ticked off. Last eliminating Roman Reigns, many saw the animal's return as a part-timer being pushed over the main roster, though things quickly changed for the worst. After being pushed heavily in 2014, Reigns won the 2015 Royal Rumble, another decision fans didn't agree with, as they'd wanted Daniel Bryan to come out on top. In an effort to calm the fans, The Rock made his presence known, coming to his relations aid, but despite the popularity of the Great One, he too was booed. The expression on The Rock's face tells the story, as the pair were booed relentlessly by the Philadelphia crowd. Despite the negative reaction, the company continued the Reigns push, as the big dog met Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31, though it was Seth Rollins who left as champion. Number 14. Judy Bagwell, WCW Tag Team Champion WCW may have at one point been the most successful wrestling promotion in the world, but there was no shortage of awful mistakes that caused the company's demise in 2001. One of the biggest blunders by the company came in 1998, when Judy Bagwell, the real-life mother of star Buff Bagwell, entered the ring in a feud that pitted her against her own son. An embarrassing storyline from the start, things got worse as on the November 9th edition of Nitro, Judy was chosen by Rick Steiner to be his tag team partner, awarding her the WCW Tag Team Championship. To put this into context, this is the same title that names such as Sting, Kevin Nash, The Big Show, and Scott Hall had held earlier that same year. A disgrace to the gold, Judy's reign with the title would thankfully be short-lived, though she still remains part of the history books. Number 13. We've Seen Too Much When John Cena won his first WWE Championship at WrestleMania 21, it didn't take long for fans to turn on him. Much like Reigns years later, Cena was positioned as an unbeatable, bland babyface whose push came at the expense of many other stars. In the years since, though, Cena has garnered the respect of countless fans, who've been impressed by his dedication and hard work, though not everyone is a fan. If there's one thing even the most anti-Cena fan must admit, though, it's the incredible shape the 16-time world champion is in, as he's treated his body like a temple. With that said, though, most fans probably didn't want to see the chain gang leader wearing nothing more than a washcloth over his nether region. Cena may be considered an icon of the PG era, but the surefire future Hall of Famer was anything but PG when this shot was taken. Number 12. The Streak is Broken When The Undertaker's legendary undefeated streak was broken at WrestleMania 30, time stood still. For over 20 years, the dead man had been digging holes and taking souls, with the list of his victims at the granddaddy of them all being a who's who in WWE history. So the idea of the dead man losing at the event was inconceivable to many fans, who hoped they would never see it happen. Unfortunately, in 2014, that did happen, as Brock Lesnar was chosen to do the unthinkable and become the one in 21 and 1. As if the match itself wasn't memorable enough, the look of one fan, Ellis Mbe, in the crowd has immortalized the historic moment. With his jaws dropped and his eyes wide in horror, Ellis's expression instantly became a meme, though the superfan has taken his newfound fame well, even posing with fans and superstars at various shows. Number 11. Vince Russo, WCW Champion Judy Bagwell's time as a WCW World Tag Team Champion may have been bad, but the company tried to one-up themselves just two years later. By 2000, the company was a mess, as it was clear that they could no longer compete with the WWF, which was going strong with names like The Rock and Triple H on top. In an effort to draw ratings, Russo, the real-life booker at the time, made himself the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, defeating Booker T in a steel cage match on the September 25th edition of Nitro. 
As you can imagine, fans did not take this well, as this shocking win came just five months after David Arquette had won the gold on Thunder against Jeff Jarrett. Vacating the title the next week, the gold would find its way back to Booker T, but for many fans, Russo's win was the final nail in the coffin for WCW. Number 10. Bischoff and McMahon Vince McMahon is unlike anyone else in wrestling history. The owner of the largest wrestling promotion ever, McMahon has always done what it takes in the name of business, even hiring former enemies. Eric Bischoff was just one former foe the boss hired, as Bischoff had been running WCW when the Georgia-based promotion had been beating WWE. Joining as the general manager of Raw, it wouldn't take long for Eazy-E to be at odds with the GM of SmackDown, Vince's own daughter. But on a Halloween edition of The Blue Show, things took a very creepy turn, as Bischoff disguised himself as the chairman of the board before making out with Stephanie. One of the creepiest, most disturbing sights in WWE history, there were plenty of fans who wanted to wash their eyes out after this one. Number 9. McMahon vs. McMahon Vince having his daughter make out with his old enemy may be bad, but it is by no means the worst thing that the boss's kids have had to do. That dubious award goes to Shane McMahon, who returned to WWE in 2016 after years away. Part of what may have been the reason behind Shane's departure took place at WrestleMania 22, when Mr. McMahon battled Shawn Michaels. Meeting in a no-holds-barred match, McMahon quickly got the advantage and enlisted the help of his son to add insult to injury. With Shane in the ring, it seemed the showstopper was about to become the latest inductee into the Kiss My Ass Club, until Michaels turned the tide, forcing Shane into his own father's buttocks. Words can't express how disgusting this image is, as Shane clearly earned his paycheck that night. Number 8. Cena and his Grind Game when fans picture John Cena outside of the ring, they probably think of the 16-time world champion dressed in a suit, perhaps at a movie premiere or talk show. What they probably don't imagine is the superstar grinding up against a girl in the club, though this photo will live on in history. To be fair to John, this isn't some random girl but his ex-wife Elizabeth, whom he married in 2009. During their time together, Elizabeth was known to be a party animal, and after irreconcilable differences, the pair divorced in 2012, a divorce that made Cena very reluctant to marry Nikki Bella years later. As arguably the biggest stars in wrestling, it's clear that this photo is something neither Cena nor the WWE want their fans to see, though thanks to the internet, it'll never disappear. Number 7. The Not-So-PG Era Although the WWE is committed to giving PG family-friendly entertainment in 2019, things were very different 20 years ago. In the midst of the Attitude Era, there was no superstar more willing to give its health for the fans than the hardcore legend himself, Mick Foley. After cementing his career after being thrown from the cell at the 1998 King of the Ring, Foley would once again be brutalized months later at the 1999 Royal Rumble. Facing The Rock in an I Quit match, Foley was bloodied by The Great One, in an assault that saw the hardcore legend take over a dozen chair shots to the skull while handcuffed. After the match, Foley was spotted backstage with his family, in a harrowing photo as his young son and daughter embraced their bloodied father. Number 6. Lonely Virgil Virgil's in-ring career may not have been anything too special, but the former Million Dollar Champion has since been immortalized as a meme. Best remembered as the manservant of Ted DiBiase, Virgil's eventual break from the Million Dollar Man was interesting, but led to very little. Joining WCW in 1996, Virgil, now going by Vincent, did even less as a member of the NWO, and probably wasn't on the best of money. Nowadays, Virgil can often be found doing anything to make a quick buck, selling his autograph at the most random of locations. Desperate to earn a bit of cash, this picture, as well as several others like it, exemplifies Virgil's legacy, not as a superstar, but as a meme that the man no doubt would wish to be rid of. Number 5. Triple H Face Speaking of memes, this picture of Triple H will be a familiar sight to anyone in the wrestling internet community. While the exact origins of the picture are unclear, it's obvious that the game is honing his incredible physique with some gym equipment. Now we all know that the gym is supposed to be a judgment-free zone, 
but it's hard to take the King of Kings seriously after seeing this perplexing expression. Used by countless fans online, the picture is guaranteed to get a laugh out of fans, despite Triple H's continuing rise to power in WWE. Though the game's accolades as a 14-time world champion, King of the Ring winner, two-time Royal Rumble winner, and Triple Crown champion speak for themselves, this picture is what many fans see when they think of the King of Kings. Number 4. Generation Gap From the moment Dean Ambrose made his presence felt at the 2012 Survivor Series event, many fans knew he was destined for greatness. As part of The Shield, Ambrose was part of some of the company's biggest matches in recent memory. But as a single star, he's been involved in some truly cringe-inducing moments. From attacking opponents with ketchup and mustard to setting a booby-trapped money in the bank for Seth Rollins, there is no shortage of Ambrose moments that made fans groan. When the Lunatic Fringe appeared on the Stone Cold podcast, it was clear that the two WWE champions weren't on the same page, with the rattlesnake even pressuring Ambrose to up the ante. This picture defines that episode of the podcast, as it so perfectly underlines the clear disconnect between the two stars. Number 3. The Older Taker It's no secret that The Undertaker is getting old, but throughout his WWE career, the man has done it all. From headlining WrestleMania to his seven reigns as WWE World Champion, the Phenom has had one of the most incredible tenures of all time. But over the past decade, the WWE Universe have seen the man less and less, as rumors continue to spread more each year of the dead man hanging up his boots. Photos like this one definitely give credence to those rumors, as it shows the legendary superstar outside of his wrestling attire looking very frail. Though the dead man did have a handful of matches in 2018, it's clear that the superstar simply cannot go at the level he did a decade or two decades ago. Whenever the dead man does decide to hang up his boots, expect a celebration fitting of the phenom from the WWE. Number 2. Sid Vicious's Leg Break WCW officially went out of business in March 2001, but if the promotion had gone down a few months earlier, it would have saved Sid Vicious a whole lot of hurt. Competing at the 2001 Sin pay-per-view, the former WWF champion had been told he needed to expand his moveset in the ring, something that Vicious wasn't comfortable with. Despite feeling like a man of his size didn't need to be doing high spots like a cruiserweight, Sid climbed to the second rope and instantly regretted it. Jumping off for a big boot on Steiner, Sid's leg would buckle, and he would suffer a severe fracture. The photo and video of the event are pretty gruesome to watch, and it just goes to show that when it comes to wrestling, accidents can occur at any time. Number 1. The Owen Hart Announcement Any fan who watched the WWF in the Attitude Era will remember this. From the Over the Edge 1999 pay-per-view, Owen Hart was supposed to compete as the Blue Blazer and was meant to descend from the rafters, parodying the entrance of WCW's icon, Sting. Instead, a freak accident caused the device to break, with Owen plummeting to the ring before he was taken to the back. Heartbroken, it would fall on Jim Ross to inform the fans of Owen's tragic death, as Jerry Lawler could only look on in sadness, as one of the company's most talented stars had died. Popular with everyone backstage, Owen's death remains one of the darkest days in wrestling history, and just seeing the image of the crushed, heartbroken commentators is difficult to look at. Guys, that's our list. If you can think of any other WWE photos that we would wish that we could unsee, please leave a description of it down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video of 12 wrestlers you didn't know tragically died in car accidents. Also check out our other high-rated videos by clicking at the upper right-hand corner or down in the description field. If you indeed like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss a single video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching.